28 days doesn't seem that long, but when it comes to being on point with your supplements, your water, your steps, your nutrition tracking, and your workout, at first you're gonna have massive amounts of motivation, and the first week's gonna be hard, but your motivation is gonna be able to override the toughness of the first week of a challenge, but then that second week when things start to pile up, that's when it gets hard. And so what I've done is I pulled a bunch of belly burners and I asked them, how do you survive a complete belly burn from day one to day 28? They mentioned having fun, brushing your teeth, having healthy choices around you for when you get hungry, and then social plans of how we need to make them work or how we limit them. Now the first one comes from one of our members and she mentioned that brushing your teeth after dinner is a great success tool from preventing you from eating again. And I agree with this one. There's times where I'll finish my dinner and I'll brush my teeth, and then all of a sudden I'll think, I haven't had dessert yet. And if you know me, you know that ice cream is life. Now I don't have the crazy ice cream Hagen dazs and this and that. Literally the ice cream that I eat is under 400 total calories, but still, at that point I'm like, it's 8.15, but I brush my teeth at eight, I don't want to rebrush my teeth. There's just something about redoing something that I don't want to do. And so for you, this is a great technique that once you're done eating and if your fasting hours start at 8 p.m., brush your teeth and you're probably not going to head back to the fridge. The second one is having fun. And a lot of people get stressed in these belly burns where they're so focused on doing everything right that if they do one thing wrong out of 100 things, all they do is focus on that one thing that they did wrong. Now I would tell you that yes, we have a goal and yes, you have to stay focused, but in the meantime, you have to 100% enjoy the journey because when it comes to making a decision of going out for fast food or taking the time to cook your own food, reheating it and eating it, I mean, going for fast food seems that much easier and it's more convenient. And so between doing those choices, you can't hate one or the other. You can't regret not going out to eat and eating at home and not seeing the immediate result from passing on going out for that takeout. And so the thing about working out and getting results, it's really a delayed gratification. So if you can enjoy the moment right now where you're saying, man, this is great. I'm doing a lot of things right. And you focus on that, but most importantly, you're having fun in the meantime, then it doesn't matter what the end result is because you loved every single day. The third one is having a healthy choice in your purse or in your car. Now, especially in the colder months, it's a perfect opportunity to stash some Nary bars or stash some protein bars. Or if it's like the warmer days, then you can have like pre-made protein, like, but obviously no water in it yet, but just have the powder. So that when you get hungry, instead of reaching for something that's super easy at the mall or going through a Tim Hortons drive-through, you have something that fits your macros it's protein based, so it's not going to stimulate a blood sugar release, which is gonna st start fat storage. If you have these snacks quick and handy with you, then instead of digging for the bad stuff, you're gonna have the good stuff and it's gonna push you one step closer towards your goal. And the last but not least, this comes from a member, is that maybe you should consider limiting your social plans and events with friends during the belly burn challenges. Now, if you think about that, instead of saying yes to every single event, every single weekend. I know we're getting a kid's invite to every single party, every single weekend. And sometimes we just gotta say no, we're staying home, we're spending family time and relaxing. There's nothing wrong with that. Because if you take control of your life and if people are constantly bugging you to go out to eat or go out to drink or do these social events, and yes, you wanna be there for all of them, and it does not mean that you're less of a friend or a family member, it just means that you need your personal time. And maybe this time, the 28 day belly burn challenge is a time where you're just focusing on you. And people are gonna continue to bug you and haunt you and, and ask you and this and that, but eventually people are going to learn that you're just gonna say no. And when you say no, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna lose the invites, but it gives you the opportunity to control that and then you pick and choose which events you wanna to go to. So instead of having to go to all these events and not enjoying the events and eventually doing something that you're going to regret, you can say, hey, like you got this thing going on, you mind if I come? Or you can connect with this person like, hey, what have you been up to? And they're like, oh, we have our kids party this event, you wanna come down? 
You can pick and choose whether or not you want to go to that. And then when you get there, if people are bugging you to eat and drink and like engage into the festivities, you can just simply say no. And I read in somebody's post recently where they're just like, I'm just going to tell them no. And that's it. And they got through a whole weekend of a bachelorette party just saying, no thanks. They brought their own snacks. They brought their own drinks. And the weekend went by. Monday came around. Were they less of friends? No. Was this girl closer to her goals? Yes. So there we have it. If you're looking to survive and be successful in a belly burn challenge, then you need to take these four steps and start implementing not only during the challenge, but think about implementing these in your daily life throughout the entire year. So brushing your teeth after dinner, having fun when you're in a nutrition or diet plan, having healthy snacks and choices with you so that if you do get hungry, you can reach for something good versus something bad, and then controlling your social events and your plans. Now, if you're looking to have a coach by your side through these tough times when you really wanna snack, when you really wanna overeat, when you don't feel motivated, when you're tired, or you got too many social plans and you need somebody to tell you to say no, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, send us a message, mention the belly burn, and we'll let you know when the next date starts.